So, it snowed yesterday. And I'm stressed out about it. Is that gonna make us stop? You guys keep watching. So we're at the gym and it is 4:10, and we've been saying that we were going to stay in the gym for an hour So we will not be leaving until 5:10. We have been doing that and we're going to keep doing it including today That's right. So as promised, we're going to give you a video of my pathetic attempt at a pull-up <laughs> So we're going to see progress. We're beginner's on attempt. We will beginners, say yes, pathetic. pathetic. Yeah, it's a beginner's attempt I've never been able to achieve a pull-up as I said. So right now we're going to see how far I get off the ground. Zach, you boy, you right? Ready? Yep. Yeah, all right. That's as far as I can as get. As far as he's got, but he's off the ground. We'll get there. Yep. Hey guys, it's Josh and Zach. And this is the Go and Keep Going YouTube channel. We're an accountability channel for fitness and for weight loss. Zach and I are both on a journey for weight loss and living healthier lives, and we want you guys to come along with us. If you're new to the channel, please comment, subscribe, and like our videos and let us know what you would like to see. Also, please let us know how you're doing on your own weight loss journey and your fitness. We would love to know. Yep. So uh, yeah, that's that's the first look you guys just saw of uh, Josh's pull-up status. Pretty sad. It's, pretty it's not sad. that bad though. I mean, you know. Well, I went back and watched it after we filmed it, and I was like, that looks like it didn't even pull. But yeah, I was pulling pretty hard. I mean, he got <laughs> off the ground <laughs> yeah. and his legs swung, which I got a con little concerned there for a second, <laughs> but he, he pulled out okay. Well, over time, I mean, you know. We're definitely going to be working on shoulders and back and stuff as we work out. Um, so the uh, the hour in the gym every day so far is not well, bad. Hey, it's not that yeah. bad. I mean, you, as long as you occupy your, your your mind with what you're doing, I mean, just keep keep the exercise going. I'm conscious to the fact that I'm trying to get my steps in every day, so I'm kind of keeping. By the time you you really do everything, it's been about an hour. And I think there's I know when I hit the point in the gym where I usually would be like I'm done. It's time to go home, right. and now I'm pushing past that, like, I got 30 more minutes, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. So I feel like this is going to be a big part of what we are going to incorporate permanently. Right, so, and, and to be fair, after each hour, we're... It, it's, it's, it's good, yeah, it's taking we're it, pretty it's tired. It's definitely <laughs> taking it out of us, for sure, yeah, we're pretty tired, which is a good yeah. thing, that's what we're looking for. And I'll let you know, like I mentioned, the snow did not stop us from doing our full hour yesterday. Well, we call it snow. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a lot. It was enough to shut down the entire state of North Carolina. Pretty much, yeah. This, this part of the East Coast, um, we got a day of snow, and yeah. that was enough to completely shut down everything. We didn't care. Everybody else left work. We were in the gym for an hour. And we stayed. We, we, and we, we were safe on the way home. We don't play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah, we were. So, Be safe. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, biggest change that I can mention for right now is, uh, if you guys have watched any of our previous videos, you know that I don't like to calorie count. I've done it in the past. It did not work for me. It's an absolute pain in the butt. It's tedious. This guy does it, um, but I, with much reluctance, I calorie count. I, I, I'm not, you know, I got an app and I've been counting, and you know, and it, it's, and like, you know, what he said in the past as well. <clears throat> it's not about counting it by the calorie. Right. It's it's simply there to give you a visual of what you're putting into your body. Because the cool thing about it, you know, there's many apps out that you can get. Just pick whichever one you like. But the one that we use, particularly if you eat something that's too heavy in fat, it'll say, hey, yeah. what you just entered has got a lot of fat in it. Be careful next time and stuff. So it's good. It's just good to kind of... It's an accountability tool. For sure. Another one. Yeah. And like I, I've been, like I was trying to tell him, which maybe we kind of found something the first day that you used the app, yeah. you were like, holy cow, 1,500 calories left at the end of the day. I'm not going to eat all that dinner. And I'm like, well, maybe that's the problem. Right. Maybe you're not eating enough healthy things Could be. that your body's storing fat most of the time. So that's... It's going to help us kind of dial in uh, specifically for you on exactly what needs right. to happen. I mean, you know, I worry about it because I've done it in the past and, and just like we've, we've talked about, you know, I've, been, I've gotten discouraged because I didn't see changes and I stopped doing it. But since we're not doing that anymore, we're not going to get discouraged. We are going to keep going. That's right. Um, I will, <laughs> I'm going to keep, I'm going to stick with the app. I'm going to keep entering my calories and stuff um, and we'll see where it comes from. You know, hopefully it'll help. So I think we need an update from you. You've been on your medicine for four days now? Uh, yeah, so let's so okay. So this type of medicine that I'm taking, you know, for thyroid, anyone that suffers from thyroid issues knows when you take these kinds of medicines, it's going to take a few weeks. So it's going to take a few yep. a few weeks before you start to notice any kind of differences. At this point, no I, change yet. No change. Nothing. Okay. Not Fair really. Enough. No change. Have missed any times? Have you? I have not. Okay. I have been taking Make my medicine. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's funny because the accountability thing seems to be working because there's a couple a couple good friends of ours that. Uh, 
that I know um, watch our videos and after the last video uh, got published, that friend called me and was like, you've been taking your medicine, son? <laughs> so it is working. Well, so I appreciate that, that for good. sure. Yes. I, I definitely, that's what I need because I'm not going to take it otherwise. Now I am going to take my medicine. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll let you know if we notice any differences or anything like that. So this week's topic, what we want to talk about is mental health and the effects that that can have on weight loss or weight gain or, or just how you're feeling in general and what exercise can do for you to kind of help with those types of things. And I think it's a, you know, I think it's a pretty accurate thing to say that everyone, to some extent, suffers from issues with mental health. Sure, yeah. I mean, stress, stress. anxiety. And you can't tell me, everybody has stress. I don't care what you're doing, where you're at, where you're working, you have stress. Yes. It's there. Yes. It's always going to be there. And it's proven many times over that exercise helps relieve stress, it helps relieve depression symptoms, it helps relieve anxiety. I mean, just doing those things just to kind of get your blood flowing, it just feels good. It feels good. And certainly with depression. And it, like I said, we don't have any secrets on the channel. You know, we're going to talk about it. I've suffered from depression in the past. It's run through my family for a little while. And you, you don't want to get out of bed. You don't want to do things. You want you have no interest in anything. But I'm telling you, if you get up and just do something, go outside, smell fresh air, open a door, walk around your house or whatever you got to do, it does help. It really does help. And there are definitely stress exercises and things that you can do to kind of help de-stress in your job, oh, yeah. at home, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. And, and on the flip side of that, um, you know, that's kind of on the side of helping stress and yeah. helping to relieve uh, maybe a little bit of different mindset. Well, on the other side here is what can stress do before you get to the gym? Stress can actually cause weight gain. It yep. can cause muscle loss. Sure. Stress can cause you to go, I don't want to do the gym today. I'm not motivated. So really, you really need to hold yourself accountable, hold each other accountable, hold everybody else accountable and say, you know what, no matter how stressful, you're doing this for you for another purpose. You're not doing this because something else happened. You're not doing it, well, I got mad today, I'm not going to go work out. Right. You're doing this for your body, for your health, for everything else. Doesn't matter that you got stressed out. I know it. It's rough. Everybody has oh, yeah. stressful days. Everybody has tough days where they're like, "I don't want to do this. Yeah. I want to go home. I want to go in bed." You said that before. I should go home. Go straight to bed. It's my favorite you, thing to do. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you really, it's hard. But you have to make that push because if you do let that stress affect you, stress on top of missing out on that workout or falling apart from your diet can double down on you in yes. ways that you don't even understand. Your body, your immune system will get will uh, suffer. Yes. There are so many things that are, are just tied into that. So anytime him or I are stressed out and we're like, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym, no, not happening. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're basically gonna yell at each other in a very positive way right. to, to get in the gym because there's just, it, yes, it can be an excuse, but it's it shouldn't be. It right. just shouldn't be. And stress, I mean, in, in what, and a lot of people are afraid to do this for, for whatever, well, not for whatever reason, because I've been there. I think a lot of people have been there. If you're stressed about something or if you're super anxious about anything or something like that, the worst thing that you can possibly do is keep it to yourself. You can't do that. People can't, you cannot be afraid to talk about things that you need to talk about that you're worried about. Mm -hmm. Because by keeping it in, that stress is building up, building up, building up, and ultimately you're going to get depressed about it. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm, you know, grateful that I have friends like Zach and other friends, you know, that we hang out with and stuff. You know, friends, <laughs> we have friends that you can talk to and get that stuff out. But really, exercise is one of the best, better things that you can do for depression and for stress. You get up and just even if you walk for five minutes, yeah, just to get just a change of scenery, just get up and do what you can. And we're gonna open ourselves up. You're stressed, you're having some issues, and you need somebody to talk to. Let us know. That is what that is precisely what we want. We want you guys to let us know if we need any help, if you need any help, because we want to help you and we're gonna need help. And I will say, if you're an angry stressor, because there are different types of stressors, if yeah. you're an angry stressor, which that can happen to me sometimes. That he, I get no, not sometimes. I do. That's I how he angry. responds to stress. He gets mad. The best thing to do, and you're you're not really going to want to do it, go lift some weights. <laughs> I'm serious. Get the anger and frustration out by doing some lifting. Safely. Safely. <laughs> Thank you for adding that in. Don't go in there and be like, I got 600 pounds. Like, don't do that. You but try. seriously, like, because once you kind of exert yourself, it does pull a little bit of that away. You can right. kind of calm down a little bit and just be like, you know what? I'm still a little, a little upset, but I, I'm a little bit better off than I was. Right, and you know, we, we, we joke about this a lot and stuff, and I don't mean anything against anyone that's on Instagram as an Instagram influencer or model or anything like that. Do you have these Instagram models and stuff? This is real, you guys. You know what I mean? 
if you are struggling with depression or with stress or something like that, and you're getting depressed or stressed about not losing weight or not reaching your goals or something, you are not the only one. Everyone yeah, is, is going through their own demons and having their own issues and stuff. I'm struggling with it ever since we started this video, but you can't get discouraged. We are here, you, we're here for you, and you have people that, that are there to support you. You just keep doing You can do this. That's right. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah? What you got? Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just a little short video today. Want to get you guys, well, no, it's not really. It's just not a normal <laughs> video. Just want to get you guys caught up on what's going on. Next video is going to be on Monday, which is our next weight video. Weigh-in day. Yeah, weigh-in day. So you guys. Keep it in pocket. That's right. So you guys uh, keep up with that. And if there's nothing else, I want to remind you guys, please, Thank you so much for anyone that's watching or who has subscribed to the channel. It really means a lot to us and it's really given us motivation. 20 subscribers. 20 guys. subscribers, that's right. I forgot to mention that. I mean, that's huge. Uh, that's yeah, that's cool. huge. That's, that's cool, a great guys. thing. Thanks. So thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, comment, likes, all the good stuff. Because it is motivation and it is helping. Please know that any of the small things that you guys are doing is helping us. We want to encourage you to continue to subscribe, comment, and like. Let us know what you want to see. And we guys, we guys, we will see you guys on Monday if there's nothing else. Um, that's it, right? Yep, I think so. I'm Josh. I'm Zach. We're going to keep going. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.